Hello viewers, this is Wolf here. Welcome to Wolf's Haven and to another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Zenogre plushie from Monster Hunter. So, just jumping straight into this review here. Um, I am wearing gloves now. Um, I'm going to be doing that for the next few videos, just because I did injure two of my fingers at work recently. So I don't really want you guys looking at nasty fingers while I do these reviews. So that's the reason why I'm wearing these. But, jumping into the Zenogre... This is actually an, a pretty old plushie. This is actually a reprinted version that I got. Um, I wanted to get this because, for those of you that remember, I did do a review on the Stygian Zenogre plushie uh, that got released a while back. And I actually did want a Zenogre, a regular Zenogre plushie to go with it because, you know, Zenogre is my favorite monster. If there's something Zenogre out there, I want it. So, here's the normal Zenogre here, and right away... The color contrast is really nice on this plushie. We got some very nice blues here going all around the top of the body. You can see right here at the top of the head and on the back here as well. Very nice and it's contrasted with these very bright yellows. Um, almost like a kind of golden yellow here as well as on these little parts that are supposed to be like the spikes on the side of the head. We have these little spikes here which kind of blend in quite a bit to the chin here as well. Dark nose, blue eyes here. Everything's looking pretty good. The horns, again, just like Stitch and Zenogre, is going to have these little white lines to kind of go down, showing those little segmented sections there. And then on the back of the body, of course, we're going to have all of this fur going down the center of the body to the tail, lined with all of these golden spikes here, going all the way around the tail here, looking pretty cool. And then, of course, we have these spikes on the legs and a tiny bit of fur here. Um, and the ears are going to have a little bit of a peach color on the inside of them. Um, all in all, pretty pretty nice looking plushie, honestly. This is, uh, I like how the colors pop, and this actually looks a little bit different uh, from Stygian Zenogre. I was actually kind of surprised, because I felt that this and Stygian Zenogre would have basically just looked exactly the same, just with, you know, a different color. But I actually have my Stygian Zenogre right here, and if I actually bring both of them together, you can actually see that there are actually some subtle differences between the two. The main difference between these two plushies is the fur. Because you'll actually see that uh, Stygian Zenogre actually looks a little bit more scruffy than regular Zenogre. The fur here, um, there's it seems like there's a lot more fur, and it looks very rough. You can see like just right here, just comparing the ears, you can see that there's so much more fur here on the ears compared to regular Zenogre. You almost don't even really notice it when you look there. And then on top of that, on the legs here, you can see all of this rough fur right behind these leg spikes, even on this side. Like, you see so much of that fur here on Stygian Zenogre. Um, here, the fur is just a little bit more subdued. You can see that they're almost, like, hiding behind the spikes. You can almost, like, almost not notice them. Um, so, the fur, there's actually a bit of a difference here. And then on top of that, too, there's a bit of a difference in the color. You can see Stygian Zenogre has more of a almost like a shiny metallic looking sheen going all the way down the body, while this looks like your regular plushy material. So more of like a solid color going all the way through. So I actually thought that that was actually kind of cool that uh, there are some subtle differences between these two plushies, so they look a little bit more than just a palette swap. So that is actually pretty cool. And then of course, just like with all of these plushies, they're going to have the little tag with their icon, um, the Iceborne version of Zenogre's icon, which is my favorite rendition of it so far. Um, but yeah, this is the Zenogre plushie. If you guys like Zenogre, um, like I do, this is definitely a very good plushie to get. Um, they've been re reprinting these, so um, definitely check their site, check Capcom's site or like any of your hobby uh, websites and see if they if this is in stock and you can pick it up. Um, definitely a very good plushie to grab, for sure, if you like Zenogre. But, yeah, that's gonna be it for the video. Very short one, it's just a plushie review. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you found it informative. And there's definitely gonna be a lot more Monster Hunter content coming in the future. Definitely a lot more collectibles and stuff, so I hope you guys stay tuned for that. But until then, I hope you guys have a good night or good day, depending on where you are. And I will see you all later.